Hey folks, Chad with Data Prep U here. Now, I realize it's been some time since our last post, but rest assured it's for good reason. First off, we've had a little bit of travel heading to the Alteryx Inspire Conference, which was fantastic this year. There's a lot of really fun things uh, in the pipeline. So check out my blog if you have not seen that yet for a little bit of a preview uh, and uh, for what's to come. Now. Next, uh, on top of that, we've also been working a little bit on our studio space. So now we have a couple of additional features here that's going to help us bring forward some additional content and some additional free resources for you. So stay tuned for some more information about that as well. Now on to today's section. One of the questions that I've uh, recently gotten was all around opening an older or opening a new version of a workflow in an older version of Alteryx. Now, that is actually relatively straightforward, especially with newer versions of Alteryx. So as you can see here, if I go into my help menu here, sample workflows, clean and prepare, let's just start with the first one, a conversion uh, of data types using the auto field tool here. Just running that is relatively straightforward. It's a pretty nice uh, and simple little workflow here. But uh, what I'm going to do is actually go out and save this out to my desktop. And what's going to happen here is that this actually gets saved in this 2018.2 version of Alteryx, the latest and greatest that we actually are running right now on my laptop. Now, that said, if we want to actually then share that with someone that may be restricted with the version that they have, let's say for example they're on the last or the oldest supported version which is 2018 or excuse me 11.8, Alteryx 11.8, they're going to get a little bit of a different experience. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and type in Alteryx, I'm going to go ahead and open up 11.8 so you can see what actually happens. Now previously you were restricted from even opening anything at all. It would not allow you to do that. But now they've actually added in a nice little feature here. So if I go into 11.8, open up a uh, convert data types with auto field here, I'm going to actually get a little warning saying, hey, there was an error opening this. This was saved in a newer version of Alteryx. Now, in this case, uh, thanks to the newer feature, it actually does allow you to open this up, which is fantastic. Now, know that if you do this, any newer features that you might be leveraging, maybe newer tools, newer functions like the Python functionality, might not work if you were on an older version of Alteryx. Now, and that said, if you're using just some standard tools, maybe you're doing some basic data preparation and blending and you want to share that with your teammates without them getting that error, you can also make a quick modification to the file itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up a brand new uh, uh, window here. I'm going to go into my convert data types with auto field and I'm going to edit it in a text editor. Now I'm going to use Notepad++, Notepad++. you can use Sublime Text or even just standard Windows Notepad as well. And what happens is you can actually see this number two line, the second line actually tells you the version that this was created in. So if I wanted to change this for example to uh, 11.7 for example and then resave this. Now if I go back into my 2018 dot two version, or excuse me, uh, not 2018.2, my 11.8 version, which I can see just by going to help in about 11.8 here. Now if I go into my open recent and convert data types, it opens without any issue whatsoever. Now why would I want to do that? Uh, as I said before, maybe you're sharing that workflow with some colleagues or maybe you're a consultant and you want to share that with some folks as well and you will actually be able to do that without them getting some sort of a pop-up that might make them feel like they're getting a better, might make them think that they're getting some sort of a major catastrophic error. So it's all about the user experience and creating a better experience for someone. That's all I have today. Uh, if you like what you see and you do want to continue seeing uh, things on uh, our YouTube channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And then please also don't forget to leave a comment if you do have additional requests of things that you would like to see. Thanks again. See you next time.